just expect the market to give you the pips you usually get last year. Things have changed now. Volatility is high. So without wasting much time, I would like to start up with this. Right. So I'm not going to analyze too many pairs. This call is just meant for a few pairs, selected pairs. I'm going to record this call and upload it to my channel. So you can go back and view it over and over. You can apply the same concept in any pair. Believe me, in any pair, if you don't see it, please do not force the market. That is the most difficult part in FX. Once you are waiting for a setup and the market doesn't give you what you want, do not force the setup. I will say it. Even if the market missed your entry, like, like let me say five, you don't need to start chasing it. Allow the market to come to you. Allow the market to come to you. So first, I have to start with this. Let me give you, this is how I start my Zoom course. I always give you some, you know, graphical representation of what the market does and a few things before you can start trading. First of all, relax your mind. There is always more winning. If you understand the basic concept of trading, you are going to win more than you're going to lose. Believe me. It's only when you're trying to force yourself into trading that is when you lose. Yeah, you're trying to force, you want to catch pips every day. Remember, it's not by the number of pairs you trade that makes you a profitable trader. I can trade one pair in a week and I will just benefit from only one pair. But you looking at multiple pairs confusing you and a whole lot of things you know, going through your mind because the market will just be messing up with your mind. So it's better for you to stick to a particular pair. Understand its nature very well. Look for your setup before you enter into the market. Don't just trade because you are seeing Everybody saying flat, you want to start trading flat. This one is saying uh, mitigation, you want to maintain a particular strategy. Do not jump from one strategy to another, but you can actually combine all of them. That is what I want to show you now. So first and foremost, I, I usually start with this. Now, watch this. Let's go, let's start with this. Please pay attention because this is how it starts. Pay attention. All right, so first of all, we have these boxes like this. I always use these boxes. I know why I use boxes. One, they are like steps. They help price to move higher or lower. Okay? All right, so let's assume there's one here. All right. Okay, so watch this. Um, Okay, so this is the concept of um, higher highs and higher lows. I just want to show you because most times, most of you, you don't use that. You just think these higher highs and higher lows, they don't make sense, but they tell you where the market wants to go to. All right, so now you see this market will make this low point right here. This is the lowest point. Then the next thing you see this market did something like this, right here. Okay, then comes down, when it's coming down. Remember, this is a what? A lower high, right, right here. This is a lower high, right here. So now, when the market is going back up, it didn't get to this particular one here, all right? So now, on its way down, Remember, this is the lowest point. The market didn't get to this lowest point. The next thing you see, this market goes up. Now, remember, this is a new what? Higher low. This higher low needs to create a new higher high, which means it has to break the structure, all right? So the next thing, you watch the market, the price as it goes up, it breaks the structure right here. Maybe it breaks it, it's coming down. Now, look at the mistake you make. When this market breaks here, you take here as resistance, then you are not expecting a retest here for the market to go up. This is where the market hits you out. You want to do break and retest, but you've forgotten that the market has to give you higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. So now this market 
So just coming down to create a new what? Higher low for the continuation up. So most times you'll be wondering, why is this market not obeying my resistance? Why is it not obeying my support and all that? Watch out. The market is trying to create new distribution points, telling you that the market is either going up or going down. Now, you see each time this market does um, moves like this, okay? Now, the benefit of, um, let me just take my time and label this. This is the, this is the lower look, all right? So, lower low, next one, the higher low, sorry, sorry. The next one, higher low. Higher low. Don't skip this, please. Don't not skip this. Higher low. And higher low. All right, you can apply the other ones yourself. Okay? In case of a downtrend, you can apply that yourself. Higher high. All right. Okay. Now. Okay. Um. So, something like this. Where is the last point the market broke out from? When you hear people say the market broke above a structure, the market broke above a structure, it broke below a structure, this is what it means. The last point where price made a new high or a new low. So right here. So now watch these points in the market. They are so important. Who is joining on my screen? I thought I disabled that. And so, please, can you clean that, please? Can you clean that? Who, who is joining on my screen? Can you clean that, please? Okay, thank you. All right, I think I... All right, let me remove that. Okay. So, now, if this market... If you see here, now, look at... This market creates... Um, a lower... Someone is asking a question. Please, it's too early. Please, if you cannot hear me, it should be from you. It should be from your side. Can, can you hear me? If you can hear me, can you put the one on the chat box? Let's know. Someone say he's not here. Please, if you can hear me, can you put the one on the chat box? All right. Okay. There are people hearing me, so it should be from your end. Can you try to enable your audio? All right. All right. So let's, 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 let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. All right. So let's uh, try as much as possible as possible not to interrupt this session because you really need to understand this very well. I'll show you. Okay, now look at this. Right here, we have a structure here. What do I mean by structure? You have, this is the point where this market started going down. This is the point where this market started selling off right here. You have something like this. Now the next time price starts going back up, it closes above this level. Once the market does that, this market has broken this higher high. So you are now expecting a what? A higher low right here. Okay, so this is just the basic concept of how the market moves. This is how the trend changes. When the market is selling, before the market will start buying or start changing trend on an uptrend, you should start seeing a series of higher highs and higher lows and all that, higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows and all that. All right, so, um, I think uh, they just should be light now. Shit. All right. So, sorry. All right. So, can you still see? Can you still see? Can you still see my screen? All right. So, um, next now, we have to go into the, the chat itself. Please take note of this. We have to go into the chat itself. Let, let me show you. Um, let me show you on the chat what all these things I'm just joining here, what it means. It's going to make more sense. Okay, now let's go to the chat. Go to the chat right now, all right? So I have this pair, this, this pair. I want to use this pair for, then you can now send me the pairs you want me to analyze. So this pair, I, I follow this pair quite some time. And then um, it happened that I've been reading all the moves the market has been doing. So now, first of all, my pattern of trading is um, a smart money concept. That is my pattern of trading. Smart money. That's what I trade. Smart money concept. That's what I trade. So um, I might add other patterns. I might add some other things. But my main 
way of trading is smart money. Like I want to pick the market from when it wants to reverse or when it wants to start moving very fast. That is when I pick the market. That is when I start trading. I don't like holding a trade while the trade is in consolidation. So the, the, the essence of smart money here is just to enable you pick a trade at the premium price. Okay. Okay. Now let's, 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 let's go into the chat. Now let's go into the chat. All right. AUD card right here. Okay. Now I'm going to clean up some of my charts right here. So you guys can understand what I'm doing right here. All right. So, so look at where my point of interest is. When the market gave this particular drop right here, please watch. You're going to watch this again. So just take your time. All right. So, you see right here, we have a structure right here. You see here is a support. Why is it called a support? Because you see this market came down here. We had a buy candle. We had an engulfing candle, right? An engulfing candle went up. Market stalled a bit for like close to how many hours? Almost a day plus. Then what happened? Boom. Price finally closed below this particular structure here. So now these things are what you need to pay attention to. Where was the last point? Right here. See, I put a line there. Most of you, if you look, always look at my chart, you always see I like using the point zero. Like, I like using the point zero on my charts. You see my numbers here, eight, six, eight, three, zero. I like using whole numbers. That's, that's what the trade house taught me. Right, so I like using whole numbers. So right here, this is the concept, smart money. Now, this is the last buy candle right here, this candle right here. This is the last buy candle before the market dropped below the structure right here. This is the last candle. Now, where is, where am I going to put a line? I'm putting the line on the week and it's also in line with this other structure here. This candle is right here. So once I put this line here, I'm done. Remember when this market breaks down here, I'm not interested in what the market is doing. I want to wait for the market to come back to this point again. So that is the peak. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the painful part of smart money because you have to wait for your setup to come because it takes time. It doesn't happen immediately. All right. And one of the rules about smart money is once the market is coming back to your mitigation point, you want to see how market is moving slowly, slowly, like market is correcting, moving slowly and moving slowly towards your target point. Now, Okay, now we draw this line. Remember, always remember your structure, the last point that was broken before that fast move down. This fast move down here, this point is a very important you know, area in the market. So you have to consider this point right here. So that's why I put this line. Remember the red line? Red line, okay. Now, let's go back to the one hour time frame. Let's see what was happening because remember the four hours time frame, you just want to see a clear structure in the market. You want to see um, how price was, you know, moving without seeing so much noise. That is why I use the four hours just to find my, you know, precise price points. Now, before that, before the market got to that point, what did you see? The market was moving what correctively. Now, watch. You see how the market was moving correctly. Now, there's something I'm going to show you. Um, most times, the way I was trading last year, I usually snipe from the from the first point. Like I don't even want to wait for anything. I snipe. I don't even. I don't care. I snipe. All right. So I'm going to show you how you're going to reduce your stop loss. That's something new too. Okay. So right here, you see how the market was moving correctively. And you all know this pattern. This is a rising wedge, right? Okay. That's a rising wedge. So. Now, when you start seeing market moving slowly like this, all you just have to do is look to your left. Do I have a structure there? Once you see a structure there, um, just keep that particular pair that you are just waiting for it to happen. Because once this market starts moving like this and you just go back and you see a structure right here like this, you see all your in, um, candles bouncing off a particular place, then you see that fast move down. All you're waiting for is, ah, the market should come back there again, okay? So now this market comes back there. Remember, if you are to enter off this trade, the normal smart money way, you are going to put your trigger here and your stop loss will be up here above, right? That's the usual way of trading now. Like normal, you put your stop loss above this point here. Now let's calculate the number of pips if you have to snipe because this market could still come here. Remember, look at 
there is quite a, like a little imbalance right here. Now this market could you know still come into this place. You see, you're already in 40 pips loss, and that is not the essence of smart money. Smart money is taking the market right off when it wants to reverse. So being in a drawdown of 40 pips, I mean that is not a perfect entry. My minimum drawdown should be at least 10, 15, at most 20 pips. At most, if I should be in a drawdown, at most 20 pips. Okay? So now, you see, look at where you would have entered, but your stop loss would have been very big. Your stop loss would have been around here. Let's put this something like this. This is where your stop loss would have been. Something like this. If you had to enter out this trade. This is where your stop loss would have been, right here. Now, see how many people stop loss? 50, almost 60 pips, you see? Very wide, there you are. this stop loss is very wide, very wide. Um, most of you, I know you like to over leverage, so you can't over leverage with this kind of, um, you know, stop loss. Because if you over leverage with this, before it gets to your stop loss, your account don't finish. So what's the essence? All right, so now, let me show you something now. This is where it becomes tricky. Now, remember your points where the market will have to react. That is the red line. That is the red line. Now watch this red line. Watch the red line. Watch the red line. Now this is the red line. Are you seeing the red line? Let me. This is the red line right here. Okay. Now this is the red line. You seen how this market was rejecting off here, right here? Can you see? If you are following what I'm saying, can you just put the one on the chat box, please? Let me know if you, you guys are following. Can you see how this market was just bouncing off? That point but that is not our entry point because remember if you were to enter here are you saying if you had to enter of this market this market activated this here it came back give you a little profit went back again give you loss came back again just like that went back to loss how many hours one two three it's like four hours you've not even seen any good money okay so that is how I was trading before because uh, you can be in a trade for like four hours although you're not even much drawdown but you just have to wait for the market to give you, you know, profit. But that is not the right trade now. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to wait for a candlestick moment in line with the direction. Now see, once this candle printed, then this one hour candle, you see this sell candle. Immediately this sell candle just printed, bam, I've gotten my confirmation. Now my stop loss is smaller. Do you know why my stop loss is smaller? Because this is the last buy candle before this big drop. So right now, all I'm just going to do is to use my line and put it at the last point where this market bought before it sold massively. I'm going to put it at the week. You can put weak body, but remember, most times you are using body, you can be missing entry. So most times I, I prefer using the week. So, all right, now putting it at the week right here. Remember price point, I always like using zero, 866. Okay, so now, once I put this thing, this is where my pending order will be. Like once this move happens, now my pending order will now be on this week. Now my stop loss will be above this sell candle. Now this is where my stop loss will be above this sell candle right here. Are you seeing how my stop loss now has been reduced? Now you see my stop loss from 60 pips has now been reduced to how many pips? 16 pips. Are you seeing? Does it make sense? If it makes sense, can you just put can you put a fire emoji on the chat box so that one I will know that uh, you guys are understanding what I'm saying. This concept works everywhere, like it works, it works everywhere. If you want your stop loss to reduce, you have to wait. Okay, so now the stop loss of 60 pips reduced to 16 pips. So right now, you can you know um, you can consider your risks now instead of you risking 60 60 pips at stop loss, you're now risking 16 pips. So which means if you have to use a 0 0.01, it's a lot size now. So which means it's like close to like times six. So you can now start using like 0 0.05 times five of what you're supposed to use because you're now using a smaller, a tighter, you know, stop loss. All right. So this is the essence of trading this way. You have to wait. So now you see how this market came here and activated right off this point. You see, maybe this candle close. I just put my pen. This, this, this is the trade I took. I'm telling you the trade I took myself. All right, so immediately this happened, I entered right off here. Now, this market just pop, boom, I see, drop. This is smart money for you. They don't take time, they don't waste time. Once they mitigate off, price doesn't stay there. The market has to move out very fast. That is the essence of smart money, right? They move market away, right? Because 
right off at this point, you can see all the accumulation has been going up, right? Accumulation like rising wages accumulation for reversal. So right now, this market goes down to this point. Now, there's something I also want to add. The purpose of this chain, I want to add something. Now, I have, I have explained uh, how to reduce your stop loss, how wait for the move. And if you have the last buy candle before the sell, you put your entry point at the week or the body of the buy candle before the sell. All right. So now, let me also show you the concept of the higher highs and higher lows and how the market actually obeys those levels. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to be using... Um, there's a question again. Yes, of course. It always... Uh, uh, it always repeats. Uh, does it always mitigate on the second engulfing? Of course, it should. It should. I'll give you other examples so that you understand what I'm trying to say. It always does. It always. It always does. All right. All right. Now, see. Now, watch something. Um, I'm going to introduce something. This this call is mainly for like intermediate and advanced. So, if you don't understand, you can still go back to my previous um, videos that I explained um, how this whole mitigation works because. I'm not going to start explaining the whole mitigation process off again. I have videos already on that. Okay. All right. So now I will, I will, I will also like to share with you something about the, the, the wave, the wave function. There's a wave function in the Forex market. Now, once you measure, once the market gives you a particular wave, there is every possibility that the market is going to give you an equivalent wave the second time. What do I mean by wave? Like, you know, the Elliott wave you see? This impulsive move, you can see the correction right here. You see this next impulsive move. Now, what I'm saying that this correction, this correction, they are always equal. This correction, they are always equal. This correction here, this one correction here, and this correction, most times they are always equal. That is when you use your Fibonacci. So you can use your Fibonacci to determine the wave length. I'm going, to, I'm going to release that link. I've, I shared it to the trading room some time ago. It's, it's still there. I still have my videos on YouTube. All right. Okay. Um, so now watch something. Watch something. From the high to the low, please. I'm going to be using my Fibonacci setting up. So I will give you guys um, like um, two seconds or five seconds so you guys can um, take my Fibonacci settings. All right. So, all right. So this is my Fib settings. All right, so you can take a screenshot of these few settings. All right, before we continue, take the settings, uh, the picture of uh, these few settings. Are we done? Are we done? Okay, so um, I'm going to remove it right away. I hope you guys have taken the screenshot. It shouldn't take much time. All right, I'm removing it right away. Okay, now, now the FIB enables me to measure the retracement. Helps me to measure the retracement. What do I mean by measure the retracement? Like from the high to the low, like this is the lowest point. Listen, listen, listen. This is the lowest point. No much questions again. Now, this is the lowest point. Remember when I was saying the lowest point and the highest point, like the market creates a lower high or a higher low or a higher high, or as the case may be, if it's in a downtrend. Now, this is the lower low, this is the lowest point, okay? Now, what happened? When you see these spikes go up, what is it telling you? Yes, market is actually coming to clear some stop losses, but yes, it's also giving you the intended direction of the market. Most times, I'll say it again. When you see these long spikes go up, yes, their intention is to clear the stop losses of those that are, they were already selling, but yes, it's still an indication that market is still going to go towards that week. All right, so now, this is the lowest point and this is the highest point. This is the lowest point right here. Now, this is the highest point. Now, let's use our FIP settings. Now, watch. This is very tricky now. It's, um, it's, it's going to be so much for some of you guys that are still studying. But once you watch it again, you understand what, I, what I'm saying. All right. Now, see, from this point, from this lowest point right here, see, from this lowest point to this highest point, are you seeing here? Are you seeing where I put my feet? 
from this lowest point, like from this point here, from this lowest point to where the spike stopped. To put my fib, I say right there. Once you measure the first wave, the second wave is going to give you the same thing. Okay, now what do I mean by that? Now watch. Once I measured this, now I measured right from here to here. Now where did this market reverse? It reversed where? At this point. Take note. The market reversed off this point. Market reversed off 70%. Are you seeing the 70%? All right. Now let's, let's remove the fib again. Let's remove the fib. Now we are done with that. Now let's, let's go. Right, so the next one from this high, this from here now to this point. Let's use the fib again. This thing is higher. Let's hold up this. All right, so now watch this very well. Remember the first one we used from the first point here. Let me leave the fibs. Let me don't remove it. From here up to this point, 70%. Okay, now let's measure the second wave again. From this point now, where was the next wave? The next wave was right off here, right? The next high it created because you see this is the highest point. You are not going to use this one because this didn't break here. Remember when I was explaining um, higher highs and higher lows? You are not going to use this one. This one didn't go above here. It didn't close, it didn't go above this point. So we can't measure the fib here because this is still like inside of this whole thing. Are you getting that? So now the next, one they are going to take now it's right from this point from when the move started when the move started off from here the move started off up to the highest point that is this point here remember it's also in line with structure too now right here now you can see how the market always reacts to almost that same point that 70 level yes you see, that's 70 level. That's where it's reversed. That's 70 level, right? It mustn't be exact, but at that point, you will know that this is what the market wants to do. It helps you to know that this market wants to reverse. When you start seeing some kind of bullish candles or you start seeing some kind of candlestick patterns around this area, all you just have to do is to do put what? Put a fib. You put a fib from here to the highest point. Remember, this move has not happened. When you are placing the fee, this is the one that has happened right from here, from this point, from this point here to this point. This is the move that has happened. Now, you you haven't seen this move, but look at what you're expecting because this first wave gave you this reversal at 70 level, 70 percent. In other charts, if you if you apply this in other pairs, the reversal point on some other pairs might be at 61.8. Some of them might be at 78.6. You understand? So what I'm trying to say now is on this particular pair, this particular one here, it was, it's usually reverses on the 70. I follow this one for like close to like for like four weeks now. All right. So now you can see at this point, this is where you should start taking your profits because are you seeing when the market does go to 70% again? Are you seeing? You see what happened? It couldn't go below that point. Yes, it got to close to 78.6, which is the smart money um, reversal point. But the market still did what? kind of reversed kind of reversed at this point all right so this is just measuring the first impulsive move and the second one remember for you to measure the second one 
the second one has to break above this particular structure. That is why I made mention of that you know, structure when I started. Like this is the previous structure in the market. This is a lower high, okay? You know why it's a lower high? Sorry. We're in a downtrend though, remember? We're in a downtrend. Look at it now, right here. I'm not going to teach this one again today. This is a lower high now. We're in a downtrend, all right? So now, you see? Now this market did what? Broke above this lower high. I see? Broke above it. Now you see, it now made a new what? A higher low. That is how this market moves. Because while it created a new, it broke above a new lower high, it created a new higher high. Now, once this market creates a new higher high, you are expecting it now to go back and create a what? A higher low. Because mainly looking at the market, the market will give you indications, but you don't take note of all these things. You don't take note of it because you think the market is all about support and resistance. You're just waiting for support and resistance. You don't know you have to wait for higher, higher highs, higher lows, lower highs and lower lows. Now, how do you know those lower highs and lower lows? How do you know the points? That is where you start using your feet. Measure your first wave using your feet. Once you get a retracement of a particular level, wait for the second impulsive move. If the impulsive move breaks above a previous structure, like your lower highs or your higher, your, your higher low and all that, then you wait for the retracement back to that same retracement level. That is why you use your Fibonacci. Okay? That's why you use your Fibonacci. Now, let's, let's measure this. Now, look at this one here. Market closed above, right? It created a new high. Now, let's use a Fib again. Let's use, a, let's use our Fib now. Right from this lowest point. Abby? From this lowest point to the highest point. Right off here. From this lowest point to the highest point. What happened again? You see where the reversal always happens. You see, just at that same point, this one was close to this 78. I see this is the same place this market reversed. This same, this same area, the same place between this 70 and 70 and 70, 78.6. The same thing here too, right here, between the 70 and the 78.6, right here. That is where the reversal came. Right here, you see. This impulsive move, it broke above here. Then this is the new higher low. You place a few.